demystify some of the issues with the eight mark question for you and start with some of the questions that you frequently ask. We'd all love to know which poem is going to be on the exam, so for Edwin Morgan, let's just have a look. It is quite tempting to try and guess what it's going to be. Those are the four that have been used so far, so we know that winter and slate have not yet been used. However, does that mean it's going to be one of those? No, it doesn't. One of the Carol Ann Duffy poems has already been repeated and they haven't all been used. It's too risky to try and second guess what the examiners are going to do. You better to make sure you know them all. Second question then is, what will the question be about? If we don't know which poem, do we know this? Well, again, let's look what's been on previous papers. We've had Morgan's interest in characters. It was his use of word choice and imagery to create a visual scene and then human themes and settings. Those have already been used, not to say they won't come up again. Things that they've already asked about for other poets on the Scottish text paper. The one that's most interesting here, I think, is use of a single experience to explore a wider theme, because I think of these, that's the one that could work best for Morgan. But try and be ready for anything. And the next question. How am I meant to write my answer? OK, we assume that examiners like essays. But actually, that's not true. What SQA say they prefer is either bullet points or a series of linked statements. Whatever you're doing, make it easy for the examiner to see where to give you marks. That's the best answer to that one. And the next one, do I need to quote? You will always see people in forums saying that they didn't quote and they got full marks. And we know that learning lines is hard work. But... In their mark schemes, SQA say that they expect references to texts, features, techniques and ideas. And if you're going to learn good close references, that's actually just as hard as learning quotes. And in order to get the second mark of each pair, you still have to analyse. So you may as well be analysing the exact words. So... Yes, learn some quotations. It can't hurt. Next question, what do SQA give marks for? Well, the best answer to this one is there's an acronym that you need to learn. To answer like a boss, CEO. OK, and the C bit stands for commonality. What does commonality mean? It means saying how the poem on the exam paper and another poem by the poet that you have learnt both fit the question. So it's what they have in common, but how they fit the question. Then you get two marks for quoting and analysing something new from the poem in the paper. You won't get the same marks twice. Don't repeat something you've already said. And then four marks for quoting and analysing two examples from another poem. So the C for commonality, there's the E for the paper on the exam, and the O for the other poem. So C-E-O is an acronym worth remembering. And the last question that I get asked a lot is, can you show me how it's done? Show me an example. And the answer is yes, I can. So let's start with a clean bit of paper. And we'll assume, for the sake of argument, that the Morgan question is on trio and that the question actually relates to Morgan's use of human themes since it's one that has already come up. So we start with the commonality bit and I'm using the word human themes from the question straight away in the answer to prove that I'm answering the question. I'm naming both poems don't leave the examiner guessing where your quotes come from. That'll just irritate them. And I've mentioned specific themes from Trio and themes from In the Snack Bar to relate to it. I'm definitely getting both my commonality marks there. And then the next one, I'm quoting something presumably that was not already analysed. 
And the theme for Trio that I stated in the commonality part was protection. So I'm mentioning here that the imagery and the way I've analysed the word march, I'm bringing it back to that theme of protecting people. And then I've moved on to my other poem where I'm looking to pick up four marks and I'm starting with a quote from In the Snack Bar. And immediately I've gone straight into analysing a word from that quote. I've got one mark for remembering the quote. I'm now getting a mark for analysing dismal and relating it to the themes that we, we know we're writing about. And then I'm actually going to do that again and pick up the words forces his head down and analyse those as well. Why? Because if you've got a bit of time, it's a good insurance policy to do two bits of analysis in case one's wrong. If you know that the quote's right, you're going to get that mark. You may as well have a spare bit of analysis in there to make sure you get both marks. And then I need a second quote to be able to do that again. So I've given the faltering, unfaltering steps... I've referred to two themes in the bit about commonality, so I'm going to deal with the second one here. I'm mentioning the theme of disability. And then unfaltering, I'm bringing it into the second theme I've talked about and saying that that's more positive because that's about his resilience. And I'm just making sure I've proved that I know what word resilience means. So that is how you answer the eight mark question.